morning guys I wanted to show you something might be a little thing you guys run into from time to time when you guys pick up a trailer look at that shit they are very they are almost touching you can just see the space between them sorry I'm still waking up and it's cold as fuck out here I'm down here in San Antonio all right, trailer tandems are all the way to the rear. I'm gonna leave them that way. There I am over there. I'm gonna show you guys, or attempt to show you guys, how to get a trailer out from a spot like this without damaging it, or damaging whatever it's up against. I'm gonna set you guys up over here. I'm getting a lot of funny looks from people. Why the fuck is this guy setting up a tripod? Why is he talking to himself? <coughs> there is there's a lot of traffic here, so it may take me a second. As you can see, I've got some space to work with. I got right in here, it's roughly two trailers wide, give or take. I'm going to attempt to use that some what I can, best I can. Um, Alright. Hopefully this works. Like I said, I have to put the camera way the fuck over here can't hook it to the truck or nothing because then you really won't be able to see it too well. I'm just going to pull it out, kind of go off to the side and do all that shit and then grab you guys and go. So I'm going to try to make this quick.
Uh, all right, easy peasy. <coughs> had to make a switch up at the last second. I know I was going to use that space. As I was pulling forward, I realized that wasn't going to be an option. I didn't... Because, hang on, I gotta fix the landing gear and get out the tripod gear and get out of the way. Look, sky! I know, confusing, huh? No, because as I was gonna pull forward, I was gonna try and, you know, maneuver all in here. When I got in the truck and actually looked again, I realized I was not gonna have the room needed to maneuver at all. So that's not gonna work too well. So we gotta do a plan B. Now I gotta slide the gear, which, you know what, for shits and giggles, I'm gonna set you guys up right here just to watch that happen. Why? Because I'm fucking bored and if you don't like it, well, just don't fucking watch. Okay, let's move. Yeah, why not? We'll do this. I'll leave you guys here because the, the tandems are not gonna move. And I figured it'd be fun. Why not? Like I said, I'm bored. You're along for the ride. I locked first try, I didn't have to adjust. <coughs> Alright. Because now I have to spin around in this very narrow one way in, one way out spot. I tried doing that shit this morning a little bit, like an hour and change ago when I first got here. And I ended up getting kind of pinned up in the end. I don't know how I'm going to do this, I'm going to be completely honest, because with those trucks there, it kind of fucks me. So I could attempt to blind into there. I think I might may attempt to blind into there. I'm just trying to decide, oh hang on, I'm locking another truck, so let me pull forward and kind of go along with this. <laughs> outside. Get outside. Alright, hang on. Uh, off the tripod. On to the dash cam. Okay. I had to... F <laughs> oh, what a fucking morning. I know I was saying that there was a lot of traffic and shit here when I set up the tripod, and there was just before I turned on the fucking camera. There really was, and it figures as soon as I set up a camera and there's, you know, witnesses, no traffic! Ugh. Christ, how am I gonna do this? Oh, I have an idea. No, I didn't want to pop that one. Hang on. More chaos. You guys are going to see shit from the blind side perspective. Here. I'll attach you to the sleeper window. Okay, I got to secure this shit so you guys don't move. There. You guys are on the window to the sleeper, one of the be uh, better views, and you don't block my mirror.
you're gonna attempt this, always get out and check. If I keep going on the path I'm going, I'm going to hit that other trailer. So I'm going to actually angle forward a little and get a better, better entry and hug this one tra the one here a lot closer. Still not smart to do. room on the driver's side. I'm okay so, so far on this side. <coughs> if I jack it hard and pretty and I don't know if you can see if that little blue stripe on the trailer there, bring that to right up to here, you know, jack knife in the truck, I should be able to whip in there and have the room needed to get out. Hopefully you're not bored by this shit.
Okay. This is, I know, yeah, I know this is a long video. I know a lot of it's boring as shit, but we made it in. It's not pretty. I'm, I'm taking over two spots, but I'm not staying here. I'm just using it to get out. That's all it is. I'm using it to get out. Now, I did technically make a party foul. And I bumped this trailer as I was backing. However, I was on it was intentional. <coughs> oh. Okay, I mean is that me? No, that's not me. Thought that was me for a minute. But no, it was intentional. I uh, as I was back in, I knew I was gonna get a hair close. I was hoping I'd miss it, but because I was feathering the clutch and going slow enough, all we did was bump up against it. That also let me know kind of where everything was. Ordinarily, bumping another trailer is a big, big problem. Especially if you do cause damage. That didn't look like it was me, although that was a little on the shiny side. As we slightly concerned. Sorry if this thing, this video is a little longer than usual. Hopefully you guys didn't fall asleep and you're still here. <laughs> but no, that's all there is. Got, oh, figures, they move all the trailers there. Now I have all the room I need to get out. Ooh, you son of a bitch. But there you go. Get in the trailer free from up against another one. So, tandem sliding and blindside backing. Pat, very bad blindside backing. But there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it to some degree, even if it's to make fun of me. If you, uh, if you guys get some enjoyment of making fun of me, please, by all means, go for it. Now, I have to uh, thaw out my hands. They look like shit. I gotta thaw out my hands and get my ass down to the border. You guys have a good one.